Good day, everybody. Welcome. It's time to jump into another episode of the Challenger series. We are on... I didn't put the info up because I had to redo it, but um, we're on a raid 4, 6, 40, 44? What are we on? 47, 49, 49. We're on raid 49. We're jumping back into reserve. We have our total at 20,395,807 rubles. So we're doing okay. It works. We're doing fantastic. Um, but yeah, we're here. We're jumping back into reserve because I'm going to try to make this one quick. Whether whether it's successful or not, we're going to try to make it quick because I have to take Mr. Jetosan here. Little puppy puppy to the vet. Because he's getting old. He's an old pup. He's not that old, though. For his, for his size and for his breed, he's actually, like, just, like, an, at adulthood. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's at adulthood. He's not quite at elderly yet. Um, what is that? Is that a new graphic? What the heck? Um, we have 30 minutes. Oh my god. He's going to get a tooth pulled because he cracked it playing with one of his toys. Or he cracked it hitting his face. We're not really sure exactly how that worked. Um, but he, he, he cracked it and then, um, he's got this fatty tumor. I'm pretty sure it's benign, and I'm pretty sure all the vets we've seen, we've talked to, say it's benign. But, um, he's got this little, this pretty chunky tumor on his, like, abdomen. So we're gonna have that removed and checked out. Just to see, because he's got little, like, that little tiny ones as well. And so if that one is okay, then more than likely the other ones are also okay. Take the Glock 45 mag, that's pretty good. I'll take that, I don't think it's worth anything. Ooh, OPSKS. Alright, so we're, we're rocking Buckshot in here, right? Let's see, this these toolbox. Tool, first toolbox was actually solid. Some Keck tape, not bad. Yeah, those are okay. Alright, let's uh, check for suppressors. Uh, that's not bad. It's a, I think it's a Glock sight holder. Gen M2 bag. It's not terrible. Okay, I think we gotta make it underground. What's in here? VMAX? What? What is VMAX? I think we gotta maybe give it some time for underground because I it's 30 minutes in, which means that people could be uh, still down there, chilling, hanging out. Joja cream. Joja cream. Joja cream. I don't know. We can try it. The fact that we're in here so early, though. Kind of tells me there's not many people in here. Um, kind of tells me there was never anybody in here. Not many, at least. There's a lot of scabs still alive. That's crazy. Which means it could be a lot of pistol runners. Or hatchlings. I got lots of drinks. I got drinky drinks. For days. Last time I was here. I need to run my PMC more. I'm like loading up on gear. Uh, last time I was here though. Had a cheater. It's not fun. Almost killed him too. I used uh, a little bit of desync on him. Just come around the corner faster than him. I shot him right in the throat, but I guess it hit his chest and didn't penetrate, so he just popped me right in the face.
Anybody? Oh, that's a scarab. I'm dead. Ah, oh, I almost made it around the corner too. Those were um, those were glue har boys. Dang it. I got I got greedy. I didn't get greedy. I I saw him and I was like, wait, is that a regular scav? I it's not that I got greedy, I didn't think fast enough. I was like, wait a second. And then I heard the rush and I was like, oh, I have to go. <laughs> Cause then I thought for a second, I was like, wait a second. No, I don't think there are regular scavs down here. Or are there? Actually, there are. There are regular scavs down there. I think we just got screwed. I don't know. Either way, I'll be back in a sec. All right, we're back. Um, <clears throat> it sucks when they're it sucks when they're guards in this in boss scav boss because if I would have like, I may not have done this, but thinking about it now if I was thinking like f fully clearly and I knew I heard like English voices English or American voices I probably would have tried to fight those guys it would have been difficult but with the uh, shotgun with just regular buckshot even aim if I aimed at the face I could probably take out all of them as long as I got the first shot the thing is when it's guards and you hear Russian you're like oh that means everyone I kill if I try to kill these guys more than likely is just going to result in me getting negative scav karma because in the end you probably don't win that especially by yourself you probably don't win that so not only do you come out with negative scav karma but you also come out with probably no loot um however if it was raiders i would have zero loss in scav karma but i, ha I would have it you know maybe would have lost the fight too but i would have not risked anything right so we're going back to woods, not because I'm scared, but because it seems like there's, if that's going to happen again, there's no point in going to reserve because the rest of reserve loot is just gets sucked up anyway. It's the whole reason that I wasn't going to reserve in the first place. Um, the reason to go to reserve is quite literally to be able to say, hey, can I go down and clean up after all the carnage that happened there later or earlier? Uh, OFZ shell, 45 grand isn't bad to start with. Um, we got the mustache, that'll work. All right, I think we're over by Scav House. Oh no, we're by Checkpoint. Oh, interesting. Um, okay, I'm on this side, got it. Do, do, do. Let's see. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice. You see the duct tape on my jacket? Because it's a raincoat, right? I think the duct tape is to keep it a little bit um, more continuously waterproof as to where we probably lost some waterproofing from whatever happened with that scratch. Probably found this jacket somewhere. I don't know. The, scav and the scavs that they show in the trailers, or at least the, the their movie videos, whatever you want to call them, the raid series, they look insane and what i would love to see for scavs is them to be a little bit more crazy and like deranged but also less skilled because like that's the big that's been the biggest complaint right and i think we talked about this several episodes already but it's been one of the biggest complaints to nikita which is basically scavs are too powerful it's like well 
there's a reason for that, I'm sure. I'm sure Nikita had a reason to be like, oh, let's make them more powerful because they're way too easy to kill. And I'm like, you should definitely make them run around more, be crazy, do all kinds of weird stuff, go looting, maybe, get the AI to loot some stuff. And then, uh, more than what they already do, because they already kind of loot. Um... Go get them loot some stuff, but also make them, you know, not very skilled. Because they're not supposed to be. I don't think anyone want that, but... They will go on my new M4, M1A. Oh, this is all looted? That. Oh, you know what? I have the wrong mouse settings on. Slim line actually is good. This has got to be PMC stuff. There's no way a scab got here already. Question is, did they loot everything? They obviously missed the gold chain. What's this? TMO. This is medical supply? Yeah. I always forget which ones these are. Splint is good enough to hold on to. Just in case something happens, you know? I don't have painkillers, so if I get shot in the leg, that'd be game over. I mean, still, if I get shot in the leg and it gets blocked out, it's game over, but, but you know, a break I can handle. Is that technical supply crate? I think this one is. This is technical. Alright, technical is definitely worth the time. I mean, the bolts right there is very good. Survival lighter's okay. I'll take the cord just because we have room. What is that? That's a suppressor. It's a 45 ACP suppressor. Interesting. Just lying there, man. Oh, there's another uh, splint. That'll be alright. NACL isn't bad. Dude, did... Don't tell me a PMC actually ran through all this and didn't pick up any of this. That, that must be either a Giga Chad or a brand new player. That's that's how you... That's the only... It's the only explanations for stuff like that. It's either a Giga Chad that has so much money and doesn't need any of this stuff. Or... Somebody new doesn't know that that stuff isn't, is even there. Either way, I benefit, so I'll take it. Whatever. It's hopefully it's just not a Giga Chad sitting on top of Sniper Rock, just popping all the scabs and everything they see. Because, like, if I... So, with the whole changes on, on the Kappa and what, what levels you have to be and stuff like that and how much XP you have to gain, it's a lot. And most people will go to labs and get their, you know, get Raider kills and stuff there. Personally... I probably would be sitting in a, in a place like Woods and just popping off to everything I saw. Okay, so there's dead guys here. So, it, I mean, it probably was a Giga Chad. Come through killing everything here. Let me down below. I'm hearing things, but I think it's me. Alright, where am I going? Eastern Rocks, Mountain Stash. down here. We're loaded for bear. We don't have a, uh, any armor, though. No scabs to give me warnings. That's always scary.
Is that a dead guy up there? I don't think I've ever seen that door open. Well, not ever, but in a while. No, okay. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check this. I don't have a whole lot of time. I'm gonna check this, then we're gonna check the trailer over there, and then we're just gonna start running. Yeah, nothing. TMO. TMO is actually very popular right now. Uh, I don't know. I don't, actually, that might not even be is worth less than the uh, than the horse. The horse is worth nothing. All right, let's just move. But I've re I've noticed that the ammo meta right now is not shifted, but I, I people are using like you know T ammo and U S ammo and P P ammo and ammo that really doesn't penetrate much. So it's worth picking up to like keep and stuff like that, but I don't think it's worth anything. I think the in the the main reason it's being used is because you can just unload it and not really spend much. So you're barely spending a dime. Another horse. Or just take him to the races again. thing is, somebody coming through all here, does that mean anybody went to Mountain Stash? That's the question. Um, we gotta check the tool toolbox. You never know what you're gonna find. What'd I say? What'd I say? You never know what you're gonna find. Um, put that away. Alright. Bullbex, worth money. Bolts worth money. Oh, we should check this too. And the question is, do we go up to the rock? There's more horses. I'm a horse girl, and I love it. I don't want to be a horse girl though. It's too many horses. It's not not worth the not worth the meme. Not for the death we just had. Not worth the meme. But horses, you get enough of them, I think they trade for a couple of things. But it's good to know that, that horse uh, quest where you gotta find... It's like two or four in raid horses and I think it's a vase and stuff like that. It's easy to do right now because there's so many. And they seem to be left by everybody. Alright, the question is mountain stash or diving board? I think diving board is probably good because of the tech around the corner. But at the same time, we've got bigger opportunity up at the mountain stash. Hmm. I'm gonna go up because the the it's right there, and if si the sniper scabs down, we can probably take something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going up. Shooting up. Let's go. Just gonna book it up the hill. I wonder if it's worth it as a scav in woods to, to pop an SJ6 if you find one. You can get so many more places, man. And so little time. There, there really is no time. Not in the literal sense, but, you know, you start with 17 minutes in one of the, like, probably largest area maps in the game. I'm pretty sure Woods is the biggest map. 
There's not much on it, but it's got to be the biggest. Oh, I'm hearing scabs. Interesting. What's that? Fuel? Um, sure. I'm gonna be heavy as hell, but I mean, fuel is good. Fuel, I don't know if it'll. It sells in the market actually, so it might be like over 100 grand. Because Jaeger's got like 130 or 160 or something. Well, so far I'm already glad we went this way. Oh no, Scav's still up. I can hear him. Okay. Interesting. And, ooh, gold chain. I'll take it. We came up here. It works. Um, what do I get rid of? Hopefully we don't bleed. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. I need to watch that movie again. I don't think Katie's ever seen it. Oh, look at the SV-98. Did you ask what movie? Uh, Dodgeball. Yeah, we should see it. It's probably the only... I like... And this might be blasphemy. And people are probably not going to be happy about it. It's probably the only Vince Vaughn I like. I don't really like Vince Vaughn. I know he is weird, but like people love Vince Vaughn. I don't think I've liked... So, like, okay, I take it back. He is funny in, um... What is that movie? Oh, oh, Old School. Old School's probably the only other movie I like him in. Because he's a side character. I like when he's a side character, but Dodgeball, he's a main character, and that's probably the only time he's a good main character. When he's a side character in, like, Wedding Crasher... Well, he's a main in Wedding Crashers, but, like... A couple other things, it just doesn't... I don't know. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. I got rid of one of my horses. I got two horses left. Alright, that works. Alright, let me count this up. This is going to be probably a good for average um, raid. I think we did okay. Um, I don't think it's going to make up for the death we just had. But we're still vibing off that 763 grand from the raid before that. So uh, let, me, let me count this up. I'll be right back. Alrighty. So if we count this up. Um, let's see. So if it, the difference between the 500 grand and what we made is 195,000 plus 263,000. So we had a good raid. So just so you know, we made six hundred ninety-five thousand eight hundred eighty-eight rubles off that raid. That fuel, I told you, worth a lot. It's like real life. Fuel is just expensive. Um, plus, like miscellaneous stuff is like one hundred thirty-five grand. Plus the the suppressor was really good. The bullbex was really good. Um, the black rock actually came out to quite a bit too. People love those black rocks. And then obviously bolts and OFZs and all kinds of stuff. It all it all added up. But you take the differences from that. We kind of made up for that raid we just died in. So I'll take it. I'll take this as a net zero today. Um, we're, as you can see right here, 21,091,687 rubles is where we're at. When our total for now at raid 50 should be about, mm, what are we supposed to be making? Uh, it should be about 24, 25. I think it's 25. Should be 25 mil. So, are we going to make 4 mil, make up 4 mil? I don't think so. But, I think we're going to get to a point where it's going to take maybe our makeup raids. And then, hopefully none extra. We actually might be able to do it with makeup raids. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching. Continue liking. We're so close to, to being able to monetize our videos. Um, and every single one of you that keep watching these videos are huge. And I hope that you're enjoying the series. And I hope you're ready for next season. Because that's coming up very soon. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. My name is Vidanotaj. Welcome to the Challenger Series. Goodbye, everybody. See ya!